Mass today is offered by Andrew and the Bond. Let my steps be guided by your promise. May evil never rule me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who through the Bishop St. Cyril of Jerusalem led your church in a wonderful way to a deeper sense of the mysteries of salvation. Grant us, through his intercession, that we may so acknowledge your Son as to have life more abundantly. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord, my God, has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering into, entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there? that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon Him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as, as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem, Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his work. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem.
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you. Until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. The Lord comes in our midst, in order to raise us up, to fulfill us, to give us the fullness of life. And that is why in this current crisis, it is so important for us to turn to the Lord, to know how he is present with us, how he is trying to help us, to guide us, to strengthen us. Phillips, to be able to be able to bear our hardships, for that is what he has come to do, to relieve us of all of our distress. And so in this time of great need, may we not run away from God, but run to him, to run to his sacred heart. To enter in through that, that heart that was pierced, so that the heart may surround us, his sacred heart, his great love. And enable God to fulfill us, to raise us up when we feel so low, when we feel so cast down. Because he has come not to abolish, but to fulfill us, to raise us up to himself. Praise be Jesus Christ through his mother Mary, now and forever. Amen. As the beloved children of the Heavenly Father, we bring to him our prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis, for Bishop Kenny, and for all bishops throughout the world, that they may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to continue to shepherd us and guide us in these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all leaders of nations, that they may work to protect their people from the coronavirus and to bring about the good of the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are in the healthcare profession, that they may be guarded by their guardian angels, protected as they work among those who are most vulnerable, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, either mentally, physically, or spiritually, that they may unite their sufferings to the cross of our Savior and feel his healing love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us, that in this time of great need, we may run into the merciful arms of our Lord Jesus, and through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, we may be 
walking on the path of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls in purgatory, that through the mercy of Christ, they may be cleansed of every sin and come to the perfection of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that, schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraints, we may be devoted to you with all our hearts and be ever united in prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaos, Plenis Uncelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, if your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Mysterium Fidei, mortem tuum annunciam Domine, et tuum resurrectionem confitemum, Domnec Veniat. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing hope. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Carl our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you after passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. For those watching at home, please join me in praying the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors. Make us worthy of your promises from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you with your and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Give to your people, our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy 
Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. my prayers. Please be safe and keep up with the social distancing. God bless.